This template, titled Animated 3D Bouncing Ball, was designed by professional PowerPoint designer Julie Turberk and is available as a free download on office.com. When you download this template, you can find the complete instructions to create these effects in the slide notes right here. I'm going to demonstrate how to create a couple of the effects on this slide. How to create this rectangular shape with a hole in the middle, and how to apply a motion path animation to this 3D ball. Before I do anything else, I will have to add the Combine Shapes command to the Quick Access Toolbar. To access the Combine Shapes commands, we need to add them to the Quick Access Toolbar first. I click Customize Quick Access Toolbar, and then click More Commands. In the PowerPoint Options dialog box, I select All Commands. In the list, I find and click Combine Shapes, and then click Add. I click OK to exit the dialog box. You now see the Combine Shapes command on the Quick Access Toolbar. Next, we click Shapes, and then click Rectangle, and then drag to draw a rectangle. I want my rectangle to be 3.67 inches by 3.67 inches, so I change the height and width on the Format tab. Now I need to draw the circle. I click Shapes, click Oval, press and hold Shift, and then draw the circle. I want the circle to be 2.85 inches by 2.85 inches, so I make those changes on the Format tab too. Note that the order for these next steps is important. Next, I press and hold Control, select the rectangle, then select the circle. I want to center the circle over the square, so I click Align Center and Align Middle. Then, I click Combine Shapes, and then click Shape Subtract. I'm going to need a copy of this shape, so on the Home tab, I click Duplicate. For the next part, I need to create another rectangle. I draw the rectangle, and I size it so that it is 3.67 inches by 1.84 inches. Then I make a duplicate. I select one of the freeform shapes and one of the rectangles, and then click Shape Subtract. And then do the same with the other freeform shape and rectangle. Now I need to apply a new fill color and some 3D effects to these shapes. First, I click the Format Shape dialog box launcher. On the fill pane, I click Black, Text 1, Lighter 50%. On the Line Color pane, I click No Line. On the 3D Format pane, I set the Depth to 17.5 point, and then set the Surface to Dark Edge. Finally, on the 3D Rotation pane, I click Presets and then click Off Axis to Top. To copy this formatting to the other shape, I click the shape, click the Format Painter button, and then click the other shape. Now, I just need to line these two shapes up so that they look like a single shape. I'm going to press and hold Control while I use the arrow keys to nudge the two shapes together. You see that I've already inserted the orange ball onto the slide. Before I apply the animation effect to the ball, I want to send it backwards so that it's between the two rectangle halves. I select the ball and then click Send Backward to do that. I need to drag the ball so that it's off the top edge of the slide. First, I zoom out from the slide. Then, I drag the shape off the top edge of the slide. With the shape selected, I click the Animation tab, I click Add Animation, and then I click More Motion Paths. Under Lines, I click Down. 
I'm going to drag the red endpoint of this motion path down so that it is in the hole between the two freeform rectangles. I also want to add a little bounce at the end, so I click the Effect Options dialog box launcher. And on the Effect tab, I set the Smooth Start to 0.25, set the Smooth End to 0, and set the Bounce End to 2 seconds. On the Timing tab, I set the Start Timing to After Previous. I also want to set the Duration to 2.5 seconds. Finally, I click Preview to see how the animation will appear during a slideshow. You can find this template and more on office.com.